VRD stance, ready to run. Green and silver. So here we've got the new VRD Stance RTR. Now this is very similar to the VRD Carbon that came out not too long ago, but there are some notable differences. So we're gonna get into all of those today and so he couldn't resist the box. So if you're not familiar with the VRD platform at all, this is a high performance comp ready platform and it's a flat rail chassis with the VFD transmission in the middle. It's a servo on axle. And unlike the VRD Carbon, this one comes RTR and with the stance body on it. And in addition to the body, this one also comes with the wheels, tires, and electronics inside. Now, the tires that come mounted on here are the VXT2s, like you've seen available from Vanquish in the past. These are the same red compound that has been offered on the aftermarket. Inside of the VXT2s are the Stance two-stage foams, exact same ones that have been available for purchase already. So you've got a closed cell inner and an open cell outer. So it gives you nice sidewall support while keeping the outside of that tire nice and soft. The front axle does have the heavy metal alloy outer portal covers. It gives you a little bit of extra weight down low on that front axle. Now, the wheels that the tires are mounted to are the KMC Riots. We first saw these offered on the VS410 four dice. The nice thing about these is that they are true beadlock. It's eight screws from the back side of the wheel. And inside of the wheel is the same clamp ring that's used on all of the Vanquish wheels. This is the 0.8 inch wide version. So if you wanted to add a little bit of weight up front, you could pick up the brass clamp rings and they drop right in these wheels. It's a super simple mod that is super helpful as well. The stance body is offered in two colors. This green, which is called tennis green, like tennis ball, like the gates that are commonly used for competition. So tennis green and competition silver. We'll pop off the body and look at what's underneath. One of the most noticeable changes to the RTR versus the carbon is that the chassis is aluminum on the RTR. The aluminum is of course going to be a little bit heavier than the carbon. The VFD transmission keeps the weight nice and low by putting the motor as far down and forward as possible still. The spec of this transmission is also different than the carbon. It doesn't have the lightweight machined gears or the machined motor plate in there. This transmission has six and a half percent overdrive inside versus the 21, but it does have the overdrive in the portal gears. So this truck overall has about a 25% overdrive. This truck is also built with the 90 millimeter S8E shocks, standard build there, the regular aluminum body and polished shafts. The electronics in this truck will be very familiar if you've seen any of the Vanquish RTRs to this point. It's got a 1060 ESC with the same VR1 receiver controlled by the four channel digital radio. So if down the road you wanna add something like a winch, this controller will still be able to handle that and give you digital endpoint adjustments so that you can really dial it in. The ESC does have an XT60 plug on there, so you'll need batteries with that or some sort of adapter to work with it. Now, for this type of truck, you'll generally want to use a smaller battery than you may be used to. 2200, 1300, 800 milliamp, those are all common options for this type of thing. 3S is what I would suggest for most people as well. Gives you a little bit of wheel speed, gives you plenty of power to make that 35 turn motor do some work. Now out of the box, this does have the aluminum rock sliders and each one of them has a Velcro strap installed. You'll likely only use one of those straps. So you can just take the other one off, throw it in your pit box and use it on something for a later date. I usually put my battery on the passenger side personally. One other thing I would recommend is adding a little bit of sticky backed Velcro to the slider and to your battery just to keep everything held in place. If you're using small batteries in general, you might be able to get away with just Velcro like this rather than using a strap. The links on this truck are the four millimeter stainless steel that we saw previously, and it still has the high clearance bent rear lower links. So those are carryovers from the VRD Carbon. 
Another difference between this model and the VRD Carbon is that this does use the centered ring gear and spool just like the VS410 four dice. The stance body mounts onto the chassis with standard body posts. There's four posts overall. Now these mounts are very adjustable. So if down the road you plan to make some changes and swap the body or have some different plans in general, you have a lot of flexibility with the chassis still. The body post can be moved forward, backward, flipped around, you know, the height adjustable. In the rear also, if you wanna run a cab only style, you can move these rear body post mounts onto this cross brace that has the same bolt pattern that these are made for. So gives you some options there as well. Beyond the difference of material, the chassis design is the exact same as the carbon version. So it still has the six degree skid plate on the bottom, all of the mounting holes, everything like that will be the exact same. So if there was anything that you saw used on the carbon chassis version will also work on the aluminum version. One thing to note is that out of the box, these tires are not vented. And that is something I would recommend doing if you're looking for the best performance. Best way to do that, in my opinion, is to put two holes in the tire, one on each side or 180 degrees from each other, eighth inch diameter hole. You can use a leather punch if you want to get that technical, or if you don't want to dismount the wheel at all, I just use a pair of either flush cuts or Lexan scissors and do two little cuts to take out a small piece there. Very simple, I've never torn a tire because of that. Just do that on all four tires and let those foams work nicely and you'll get maximum performance out of this platform. So while this unit here is brand new out of the box, I've actually been running one of these for quite some time. And the other day, Brandon and I were out on the rocks building some courses, having some fun, and we shot some video. So I'm going to give you some of that running footage from the other day. If you've already watched the video on the Vanquish Products channel, the running footage is different here, even though it is at the same location and on the same day, but different runs were used for each of the videos. These trucks are available and shipping now as of the release of this video. So if you'd like to pick yourself up one, I'll put a link to where you can find them in the description below. With that, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching the videos. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hopefully you stick around for some running footage. Thanks as always. We'll see you on the next one.